Hi guys, today's video is a little bit of a serious one and it concerns UK prices and how some shops are ripping us off as smokers. In the UK, unlike most of Europe, it's down to the shop how much they sell their cigarettes and tobacco for. In Germany, Holland, Belgium, there's a uniform price and every shop has to sell it at the marked pack price on the pack. And in the UK, most budget brands and mid price cigarettes have marks come out in two different varieties. Marlboro Bright Leaf, at £6.95, have those sort of packs, and also in other shops, they sell them in with that price on, and the shopkeeper or the supermarket charges what they like. Same thing with drugs. £3.92, yep, it's expensive, but at least you're not getting ripped off. However, go into a different shop and it'll look like that without the price on. And the reason this is important to us smokers is from the 1st of April 2012, all supermarket displays and in large shops had to be put behind cupboards so you can't see the price until it gets rung up at the till. If you go to a small shop, there's a big display on and you can see what you're paying. However, from the first sorry, from the sixth of April 2015, my 49th birthday, the law changes and all shops will have to cover their cigarettes. And it will give the opportunity for certain bad shops to start ripping us smokers off. Now, who are these bad shops? Some corner shops you get in touristy areas, 24 hour shops tend to do it, and also the big supermarkets. And this clip is going to dissolve to the next one, and I'm going to expose the three biggest culprits. Okay guys, that £3.92 pouch in Asda's, which is part of the Walmart chain in America, costs £4.16. In Sainsbury's, £4.12. In Tesco's, the largest supermarket chain in the UK, £4.17. In Sainsbury's and Tesco's convenience stores, which are the smaller versions of the supermarkets, they charge even more. When I was coming back from Brighton a couple weeks ago, I stopped off at a service station on the way back to get a paper, and I went into W.H. Smith's. Now, W.H. Smith's is in every high street, it sells cigarettes, but essentially it sells books, newspapers, stationery, DVDs, etc. And they wanted £4.95. They had a monopoly at this service station, and they abused it. And even in their high street branches, they rip you off. This £6.95 pack costs £7.12 in Asda's, £7.15 in, in Sainsbury's, £7.15 also in Tesco's, again more in Sainsbury's and Tesco's convenience stores, but in this service station, this was marked at £8.65. Luckily, I had enough cigarettes till I got home. The most expensive pack at this service station was Mulvers, which I could see. Unfortunately, because the display, there was two assistants and the position of it, I couldn't see it all. They were wanting £9.37 for Mulberry Reds, which is about £1.30 over the asking price. So what would I like to see? Basically, 
I know asset-grade prices will not get much lower or come down in price, but I'd like to see every pack in the UK marked by the manufacturers like that and it make it compulsory for all shops to sell that product at that price. Or I wouldn't even mind if the manufacturers had two prices on their cigarettes, say a 20 pence difference, so the 24 hour shops could charge 20 pence more, but no more than 20 pence. Because we're going to get ripped off even more from the 6th of April 2015. If you agree with me, message me. But I thought I'd just share this video with you and my thoughts. And in case you wondered what WH Smith looks like when you're coming to the UK, what follows is a six second clip of a WH Smith. So it's not the most exciting video in the world. But avoid that shot at all costs. Stay lit guys. Thanks for subscribing, personal messaging, commenting and watching my videos. Stay lit.